Now, one of the biggest misconceptions about space is that there is, in fact, no gravity in space. And why do people think this? Well, be because everybody floats up in space. And it's one of the harder things that I have to, to talk about with uh, groups of people that come in here to the Space Center because it's hard to convince them that there is gravity in space. But I've got a great little trick for you if anybody tells you that, that there isn't gravity in space. Ask them what would hold the moon in orbit around the Earth. So if the moon's out here, and it of course would be a lot, a lot farther away, it's being held in by some force, and that force is gravity. If we didn't have that force of gravity around uh, the world, the moon would just take off. Now, why is it that everybody floats up in space? Well, the reason is that the pathway that they're going around the Earth, they're actually not floating, they're constantly falling. What does that look like? I can show you. Let's say we want to put astronauts out into space, and for some reason I'm going to fire them from the top of the North Pole out of a giant cannon. Now, if I don't fire them very quickly, they will sort of arc, they'll go around the Earth a bit, but in fact they'll land somewhere in Russia. So if we get them going faster, they will go farther to the Sea of Japan. And what we want to do is get them going so fast, in this case about 17,500 miles an hour, or 28,000 kilometers an hour, that they would in fact fall all the way around the Earth. And this is in fact what we do with astronauts. We shoot them into an orbit, and they're constantly falling around the Earth, but never actually hitting the Earth. Now as long as you keep going at 28,000 kilometers an hour, you would stay in this constant state of free fall. And it's like jumping out of an airplane, but never hitting the ground. Now the Vomit Comet is a way that astronauts can practice this feeling before they go into space. It's an airplane that goes up into the air and then dives back down towards the Earth. And during that, that free fall, as the airplane is kind of screaming down towards the ground, this is what everybody inside feels like. They get this feeling of floating. And in fact, they're falling at the same rate as the airplane is falling, and it feels just like they would be up in space. So it's a really neat way for astronauts to practice. Why is it called the Vomit Comet? Well, it does this up and down thing 30, 40 times in an afternoon, and most of our astronauts will end up feeling a little sick to their stomach. It's kind of like the world's largest roller coaster. So I, I hope I've been able to explain to you that yes, in fact, there is gravity out in space. It holds the moon out in space, and it in fact is present all the time up there. It's just that our astronauts, the way they're traveling, they don't happen to feel it because of that free fall around the Earth. From the H.R. McMillan Space Center and for the Express, I'm Cam Cronin.